what's up everyone here's my um 84 84 fox body uh we're gonna be tearing the the engine apart on this because it's overheated and um it's time to rebuild it so i'll probably make some videos um of it this radiator is no good um you can see how dirty it is with the combustion chamber gas in there probably but uh, a lot of work this car is definitely worth fixing it's just um, died it died on me so well it has a lot of miles on it already and same engine as when I bought it probably like 20 years ago uh, it turns on, runs, but like after using it a while, it heats, overheats, and then it's, it'll start spewing um, hot water or coolant from here into the the tank. So what I did is a combustion chamber um, coolant leak test. I bought the kit, and yeah, it's definitely passing gases from the from around one of the heads. It's got a blown head gasket, and um, so it heats up all the, the coolant in there and then spits it out. That's you can use it for a while. Like I could literally drive it, go somewhere, go to the store, bring it back as long as it's like not a really hot day, maybe, and um, not idling in traffic for so long. Because what happened is I took this thing to Mexico down to Baja, and um, coming back, I started having problems. I had issues over there and. Uh, had the radiator clean thinking it was that and then I brought it overheated at the border again took it to a radiator shop there in TJ and just a huge mess but uh, I ended up I ended up um, getting it across again um, without having to tow and all that and drove it well drove it all the way back and just it just can't be idling like if there's a uh, traffic uh, an accident or something on the freeway and then it's pretty much screwed because it's gonna overheat well, what I was doing is I was turning it off at the border and then once it would go a little bit I turn it back on and then go but uh, yeah it was a bad day to come back because it was like the third of third of July right before the fourth and um, yeah that, that happened but uh, yeah what I want to do is um, I'm gonna lift it up I bought these ramps uh, take the transmission out, unhook the transmission first, and then I'll start tearing down here. I don't have an engine hoist, so I'm not sure on that yet, but um, I got the racing jack on the bottom, low, low profile jack. I got an engine stand, um, and then the, um, the ramps. But uh, it's going to be a long project, and um, we got the transmission off. It's got a T5 manual transmission, so maybe I'll freshen that up while it's down there. Um, well, for sure, it's going to get new oil, but maybe the seals and all that, I'll freshen that up. Because it works good. The transmission's good. Um, body, body work is going to be done last, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to get this 302 out. This is a last year. It was carbureted. Um, we're going to get it out and get the block to the machine shop, see what they say. If it's a good block to repair, maybe bore it out a little bit and put a 306 stroker in it or something. We'll see. First, I'm going get to get the everything taken apart, get the block out and see how the block is. I might have to get another block. We'll get another block and then um rebuild so fun project guys this is the 84 fox body it's uh, 84 and a half actually gt350 um it's got the stripes on the other side because at one point it did get repainted and it used to have the stripes over here the red stripes that say gt350 so it's 84 and a half fox body red interior uh, we'll get it. I'm going to start it up right now and I haven't started it in probably a week, week and a half. Uh, so I put this uh, battery maintainer on it 
uh, just to keep the battery fresh. Even though that's a battery needs to be changed. That's from 21. These batteries don't really last that long anymore. So I'm gonna start her up, put her on ramps, and we'll get the transmission first thing. This transmission down, and we'll go from there.